Hello everyone, this is Freya and welcome to a new episode of A Discovery of Nordic Witchcraft. In this episode we are going to talk about Skadi. goddess ruling especially over mountains, wilderness and winter. Many have referred to Skadi as an earth goddess but to me she brings to mind the image more of a winter goddess, more wild and operating on a more primal level. Also, she has no other typical Earth Goddess features, such as being concerned with the domains of fertility or motherhood. Skadi is a figure representative of the other in Norse mythology, is what drives everything that is unique and peculiar about her. Although this goddess is associated so much with winter, and more than a few wintry pastimes such as skiing and snowshoeing along with how she is linked with the mountains and the pine forests where she makes her home yet there exist no such tales explaining, for example, a snowstorm as Scotty going hunting or telling of how she might be known to use pine needles for arrowheads or icicles as spares. Why? Because I firmly believe she is mainly a goddess of the otherness. Where? does Skadi operate and what makes her other. Sami culture has provided, in my opinion, a very thorough answer when it comes to that. Sami culture heroes remain at the margins, practicing their ancient ways and binding their time. Viewing Skadi as an other figure cannot be done right without looking into the quintessential others to ancient Norse, the Sami. Skadi and her father are so often compared to Sami figures or said to be representatives of the Sami in Norse mythology by scholars that the suggested tie-in points between her and the Sami cannot be overlooked. To me, she is uh, the ruler of the wild, venerated by the Sami of northern Norway. Her story has a very evident gap we can note from the beginning, and that is the fact that her story seems to have a far greater basis in socio-cultural rather than natural occurrences. The socio-cultural occurrences are simply the Norse interactions with the Sami people as they moved further north in Scandinavia, encountering more of the Sami people as they went. Skadi was quite likely indeed to have been worshipped as a figure of cultic focus in the pre-Christian times, as a cult of Skadi may have been in place in 
Hologalan of Northern Norway, further strengthening possible Sami ties and the origins for the goddess. Hologalan was the northernmost of the Norwegian provinces in the medieval Norse sagas. And the place where I live with the name of Bodin was part of that region. For a strengthening connection to the goddess, you will have to become more physical. Take good care of your body in order to make it stronger. You will have to learn to read the land and be able to survive in the wilds. Her worshippers tend to be far away from lazy people. Remember, there is no sport attached to her hunting activity. It is about eating, survival and the sacred death. When I talk about death, I don't mean soul, that is more heal, realm. Scotty would be more interested in your carcass. So by fortifying your body, developing endurance to cold, exercising, daily treating the body as a place of worship, you will strengthen connection to her. Great offerings to this goddess would be icy cold beverages, traditional Sami food, charms evoking her favorite pastimes, images of snakes and wolves. The peculiarity of her character as a giantess turned goddess both in the mythology and as the subject of the real-world cult worship and the ancient belief is a matter which can be attributed to her being a figure of the other in Norse mythology. The experience of otherness is receptive and transformational. Otherness is descriptive of an harmonious uniqueness, not of the struggle to fit in and belong. That struggle just derives from how we are defined by our otherness. We all stem from the same place, and race is an illegitimate concept created from our fear and ignorance. Life at the end of the 20th century presents us with a disturbing reality. Otherness, the simple fact of being different and unique in some way, has come to be defined as evil. Woman is the other of man. Animal is the other of human. Stranger is the other of native. Abnormality, the other of norm, illness, the other of health, insanity, the other of reason. What Scotty teaches us is that the others hold the power. There is a queerness, a strange apartness, a beyondness about the Scotty which encompasses all things and belongs to none of them. Working with Skadi translates in walking into the twilight spaces where otherness begins, brushing against that strangeness to gather what is needful and bring it back to work its strangeness and changes into our world. What are we doing here today? We are practicing witchcraft. But if we asked this goddess, what is witchcraft? I reckon she would answer, witchcraft is another creature. It's another one of us. It is the magic of otherness. So what are we doing here today and every day is practicing the magic of Skadi. Witchcraft is the gift of power to the marginalized, the outcasts, 
the heretics in the Sami culture but in any culture you decide to look at in history you will see a theme of witchcraft and sorcery emerging as a very clear response to the lack of power it arises as a tool for justice a tool to maintain balance I think the myth of this goddess emerges in the Sami and the Norse cultures to system bust the institutions of dogma that began threatening life, free will and personal sovereignty. Magical people, people who have magical talent, the second sight, visions, precognitions, dreams, creativity and imagination suffer from a lack of understanding and support from their non-magical families at school, at work and in society at large. Imagine what kind of existence we can have if we honor our otherness, uniqueness, appreciate the privilege of life and marvel at what comes next. The things that make you different are the things that make you, you. And when people ask me, where do you find Scotty? She is in the uniqueness of each and every single note, in the signature of my very own footsteps, in the peculiar color of that reindeer, in the unique sound of every thunder, in the infinite potential of every simple action, just as the stars are beautiful because of their differences, just as the sun makes raindrops at a certain angle and throws unique prisms of color across the sky, so is the space where I exist and want to keep existing and to be quite frank i hope i die in a place of uniqueness otherness a place of connection and identity thank you so very much for watching this video thanks for spending some of your time here with me today it's been truly appreciated and i'll see you all in my next video thanks again hey doo.